Let us understand what do we mean by zero error and especially negative zero error. So here is a simple example of a vernier caliper and in this case the caliper does not have any error right now there is no zero error and we are trying to do a measurement. So how do we do the measurement in the vernier caliper? We look at the zero of the vernier scale and we read from the main scale a reading okay so from the main scale so this is the main scale this is the vernier scale so from the main scale we would take the reading which appears just before the zero of the vernier scale so here the main scale reading is 0 0.3 and from the vernier scale we would pick a reading which coincides with the uh, uh, with the marking on the main scale so the gradation on the main scale and the gradation on the vernier scale where they coincide at that point we will read the, our vernier scale so here this would come out to be 0 0.02 and this comes out to be 0 0.32 centimeters okay so not very difficult very very simple now let us just create a positive a zero error in this instrument so that also we can do we simply have to go here and we create a positive zero error and let's just see what does it mean when we create a positive zero error so as you can see here what has happened is that a zero error actually means that when my instrument is supposed to read zero so this is the condition in which my instrument is supposed to read zero but instead of reading zero it is really reading 0.1 okay so in this case it is reading 0 0.01 sorry sorry that is the one year scale reading so i have a zero error a positive zero error of 0 0.01 and why is it positive because my reading in this case is positive so that's why we have a positive zero error and let us just now try to read a value here in the case of a, uh, again we are doing the same measurement but this in this case we really have a uh, a positive zero error so in that, that case we are again measuring the block and in this case our measurement of the block comes out to be so we again take the zero we again look at the zero of the vernier scale and we take the reading just before the zero of the vernier scale and we read it off on the main scale so this comes out to be 0 0.3 of course plus we have a reading of 0 0.03 so this is the this this is the gradation of the vernier scale which aligns with the gradation on the main scale so this is the reading of the vernier scale which is 0 0.03 the instrument had a positive zero error the positive zero error of the instrument in this case was how much in the second case it had a positive zero error of 0 0.01 and zero error is always subtracted so i will subtract the zero error of plus 0 0.01 and of course even in this case my measurement comes out to be 3 to centimeter that is what to be expected right because we have taken into account the zero error already so the measurement is correct now we will take an example of negative zero error so in the negative zero error we will do two things first we will understand how do we actually read the negative zero error now that is the most important thing that this instrument had a negative zero error so in this case when it was supposed to read zero it is not reading zero it is reading something less than zero so it's not reading zero it is reading less than zero in the positive case when it was supposed to be zero it was reading something more than zero in this case in the negative zero error case it is reading something less than zero and what it is so again we will do the same thing that we have been doing we will look at the uh, zero okay so i will just uh, bring the pencil right here okay so we will look at the zero of the vernier scale and we will take the reading on the main scale which comes before the zero now this is very very important before this zero of the vernier scale will read the main scale so main scale reading here would be negative 0 0.1 okay so ignore this line here okay the reading is correct but the line should not be here the line should be somewhere here will go before the zero of this vernier scale and before this zero we will have a negative value on the main scale so negative value on main scale is minus 0 0.1 and what about the vernier scale reading the vernier scale reading which aligns with the main scale is plus 0 0.09 
this gives me an error of 0 minus minus 0 0.01 and of course this error is present when the instrument was supposed to read 0 so this in, in this case this is our 0 error and it is a negative 0 error. Now let us try to do our measurement repeat our measurement of the block again with the negative 0 error and of course we can do that it is not very tricky. So here we bring our uh, block okay we will just uh, take these apart a little bit more and our block goes here and let us try to do this experiment again very very simple okay and I will just bring a pencil so that I can do the marking. So again the way it works is again very very simple we look at the 0 of the one year scale we read off the main scale uh, the reading which appears just below the 0 of this one year scale. So here again it is 0 0.3 plus on the one year scale we will take a reading which is very very close which is uh, sort of which aligns with the main scale gradation. So here the gradation on the one year scale of 0 0.01 actually aligns with the gradation on the main scale okay, so these two actually align so i'll read from the one year scale 0 0.01 but of course we know that we have a zero error now so what about that zero error like we said the zero error is always subtracted but now we will subtract a negative value okay and if you calculate this sorry this this is 0 0.3 the zero is not there okay this is just simply 0 0.3 okay this is what it should be 0 I wrote miss uh, incorrectly okay this is the value on the main scale 0.3 okay and if you calculate this this comes out to be again 0 0.32 centimeter so very very simple not at all uh, difficult hopefully it's very very clear now.